Hi, welcome to another video from How To. In this video, we will learn how to pass AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam in first attempt. Because each attempt for the AWS certification costs us some money, our intention would be to learn how to pass the exam in the first attempt itself. I have uh, recently given the Cloud Practitioner exam, uh, basically around three weeks ago, and I scored around 80% in the first attempt it's, it's not that difficult I think you or anyone can do it so the topics that I would cover in this video would be all available AWS certifications we'll look at all the available AWS certifications that we have learn about cloud practitioner certification the exam guide what online courses are available and the one that we should select Practice exams for free. Uh, it will have six practice exams, and we should score minimum of ninety percent each in each exam before we attempt for the main exam. So, if you see the Amazon.com certification link, there are various levels of certification. The basic level is the foundational level. Here we have only one certification, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Then, as we go up. At the associate level, we have architect, operations, and developer. Uh, further up, if you go to professional level, we have solutions architect, which is also there in associate level. We have DevOps engineer. And then at the specialty level, we have five different certifications. Okay, so the, the certification that we will cover today would be the foundation one, um, the cloud practitioner. If you look at the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner certification, so this certification expects basic cloud knowledge from you. Um, basically, Amazon says you should have six months of knowledge. And by doing the courses that I recommend in this lecture, we will get those knowledge. I mean, the equivalent knowledge of AWS. And we should be good to attend the exam. So now, um, here if you see the length of the exam would be 90 minutes so ideally I would suggest you to spend entire 90 minutes you can maybe revisit the exams that revisit the questions that you have already answered but but I have seen many reviews where people have finished the exams in 30 minutes in one hour but I would suggest even if you finish in one hour you revisit the questions check them thoroughly again that you have uh, not made any mistake this exam will have 65 questions they would be either multiple choice question or multiple response when you say multiple response this will also be multiple choice but there might be two or more correct answers and you'll have to tick all those correct responses you can give the exams online using pearson vu and the psi or by attending the testing center by going to the testing center I would suggest to take Pearson VU if you are doing it online because this is the trusted trusted one. This has been there for quite a long time now and I have also used Pearson VU for the exam. Okay and you can download the exam guide by clicking on this. I'll give all the links in the description below. And if you come to the exam guide, 26% of the exams would be from the cloud concepts. When you say cloud concepts, it's, it's not only for AWS, it's entire cloud concept. It's the basic cloud, yeah. We have majority, 33% of the questions from technology, 25% from security and compliance, and 16% from billing and pricing. the topics for each domain the topics are given below so once you download the exam guide you can go through these details so now if you come to the courses if you're not currently working in aws currently working on aws in your project in your existing job or if you're a fresher I would suggest you to take 
any online course that would be available um, and here I have something from Udemy in Udemy if you search for AWS certified cloud practitioner you will get um, this course basically from Stephen Marek this will be on the top with 61,370 rating this is the one that I took and there is another one um, yeah this has 17,794 ratings and this is by Neil Davis so when I searched YouTube I found out that the course by Stefan Marek is more intended towards more oriented towards the exam and this course by Neil Davis is more oriented towards learning AWS so it's up to you and when I when I took the lecture when I took the sessions from um, Stephen Marek it's not like you won't be learning you will learn thoroughly you will get hands-on you will you'll have to do hands-on basically the follow along in the course okay so once you are done with this course you can um, prepare the practice exams so those are either available you can take it somewhere uh, online or I will upload six YouTube videos um, six YouTube videos for six different exams and you have to give multiple attempts for these exams and once you are able to score minimum of 90% in each exam you should attempt the main exam so for example you attempted all six practice exams for the first time you got 80% or say 70% you do the course again the Udemy course or whatever you select do the course again repeat the course again and then write the practice exam once again and if you the time you get minimum 90% in all the six exams you can be very much confident or I would say 100% chances are there that you will pass the main exam okay thanks for watching the video